Okay, now, so here's the Oriana gameplay. Um, yeah, hold on. This is the Oriana gameplay, guys. Just, I, I'm putting it into a separate video with the Zed video, Zed, and I cut myself off when I was recording the Zed, the, the Zed replay thing. It says, the last time, what the line I was going to say was, this video, the last, or now it would be the last video. That I'm not a liar, that I got to, that I got the double penta, and I know it's custom bots, but it proves I got the double penta. Y'all can't say I'm a liar now. But, um, this is the Ori build, um, I mean, this is the Oriana gameplay. I'm gonna leave a, I'm gonna leave the Oriana build in the description, because I, I built, um, I built her slightly AP tanky. I'm gonna build, I'm gonna leave it in the description. So I'm just gonna fast forward this to about the point where it started to spiral into the enemy's favor here. Um. So here, we're like, we're ahead on kills now, but the enemy team, the enemy team has a decent amount of kills for them, and then they have a ton of CS, and it's like, it, it's going, we're going to lose. But the basic guild, the basic thing here is, my first line of that was, I rushed, then I grabbed, um, Athlete's Holy Grail, Riley's Crystal Scepter, then the Locket of the Iron Solari, and Zeke's Harbinger. Now, I do play Oriana mid a lot, and I still use this build no matter what. You can, however, sub out Knight. You can, however, sub out the Zeke's Harbinger for Knight's Vow. But I mean, even as support Oriana, you're not going to get much benefit from the Knight's Vow. So your better option is just go Zeke's Harbinger. But and then that's basically my guild, my build for Ori. It's Luden's Echo, Anthony Holy Garrow, Riley's Crystal Scepter, Rocket the Aaron Solari, and. Zeke's Harbinger. That's it. That's, that's the Ori build. Um, I did not think it was too great this game. About the, the most notable play that I had this whole game was probably right about... Blue Team's turret has been destroyed. was probably like I'm gonna show you guys this play real quick this is one about one of the most notable plays I had in here like noteworthy plays this was this was it right here this um this double bar no no that's where I die Actually, I'm gonna let you guys watch this because it proves that geez, this build is not built for 1v1. See, this build is not built for 1v1. This is built for team fighting. Um, it's not a 1v1 build, so just that's that's a heads up. It's not a 1v1 build. You're not, you're, you are not going to be able to 1v1 somebody and fuck them up with this build. I mean, you could, but you got to know how to play Orion in and out, in and out. You have to know how to use that ball because that ball is going to save your life. It can save your life or it can kill you. You have to know how to use that ball. Otherwise, you are not going to be one you want to You are just going to get flat fucking rack and there's going to be nothing you can do. But, um, right about here would be the notable, one of the more notable plays. Um, I did come in, I did respawn, and I think, and I believe I got a double kill. Or not a double kill, but maybe like it sh what should have been a double kill, but it was double kill because I didn't took too much time, so, un so unofficial double. Let you guys see this real quick so you guys know. I'm gonna show you this. It, it's legit. This build is legit. Fighting. Your focus with this build is your focus with this build is to deal as to deal as much disruption as you possibly can. That's the focus of this build. The focus of my Oriana build is to support your team and get out to get out as much disruption as disruption on the battlefield as you can. Even if you are the mid laner, this this build is still designed for to get the most disruption that you possibly can. He only li I believe he's gonna live here. I, like I'm hundred percent sure he's gonna live. Yeah, he's gonna live here just because he's tanky. I can't kill him because he's tanky. I did, however, try just because he was tanky. That did not stop me from killing him, and I did get pretty fucking close. I did get pretty fucking close to killing him here. I think he had like one health or something. I got pretty fucking close. 
But then I just like, no, fuck you. I'm not chasing you through the Nexus. That's not gonna happen. I was like, no, I don't have the mana to chase you through the Nexus. So I'm not going to. But that was that proves right there. That's the more one of the more notable plays that proves that my Oriana build does work. But it's not built for one v one. It's basically just protect your team and it's team fight building. That's that's what that is. It's it's team fights. That's 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 what that is. Um, that's that. I mean, it's proofs that my builds, and I'm going to leave the build in the description for the Oriana. I'm going to leave the Oriana build in the description for this so you guys can look it up and try it for yourselves if you like.